So the other day I came down and discovered that my whiteboard, which you'll see behind me, had fallen down from its catch. I'm going to take the opportunity to replace it for a 3D Tomorrow logo sign and in the process show you how you can create a 3D printable file from your logo. Let's go. Okay, so first things first, I'm going to need to take this whiteboard down and out of the way and measure up how big the space is that I want to create a logo in. So I'd like it to be about 70 centimeters and that's all I need to know for now. So let's jump across to the computer and we'll get cracking on creating this 3D printable logo. So first up, you're going to need to go to autotracer.org. I used to previously use this site, vectorizer.io, but they've recently changed to a paid subscription. I do think they're a bit better. Um, so, you know, could be worth an investment if you've got to do a lot of these, but I don't. So sticking to this one, autotracer.org. You're going to need to upload your logo. Use the highest resolution possible, but obviously there is the limit of 5,000 by 5,000 and six megabytes. Um, the smoothing you may need to adjust if you've got a particularly low resolution, but for most things, normal is fine. If you go too smooth, you can end up with a result that just doesn't look good. But anyway, you can see that looks pretty crisp. So I'll download the SVG file and then switch across into Fusion 360. In Fusion, you're going to need to create a sketch and then I like to mark out the square of what I measured earlier just to get a rough idea. So 700 millimeters or 70 centimeters wide. Once you've done that, you can insert SVG and insert from my computer and then find the file where you saved it earlier. You can use this dragger here to adjust the size, but personally I prefer to do it with the uh, metrics because it gives you just that little bit more control and it's also a little bit quicker as the computer tends to lag when you're scaling uh, using the dragger. I'm going to move that down below the box so the box doesn't interfere with the logo itself and press enter and enter again. Then you can extrude or press the E key on your keyboard, select all the letters. I like to rotate so I can see what I'm doing. Again, you can use the drag option or you can type in the exact distance you want. I want it to be five millimeters thick. Once that done, hit enter or press OK. And once it loads, you'll be left with your logo. As you see, there's multiple bodies. So if you right click the unsaved or the file name at the top, you will be able to save as mesh. I've selected one file per body because this is going to be too big for my printer, but you know, if you were printing a smaller one, you could leave it as one file. Jump across into your slicer, import the files, and you're ready to go once they're rotated the right direction. Let's see how that print is. Okay, so there you have it, attached to the wall, my new 3D Tomorrow sign. It was printed in a range of colors, thanks to a new Palette 2S, which I will do a introduction, opening, unboxing video of in my next video. So don't forget to subscribe if uh, that's something you want to see, that'll be out next week. The sign came out pretty cool actually, uh, probably could have gone bigger, but I like it, I like it, and I like the fact it's a bit messy in a way because the sort of palette setup didn't go perfectly, um, as it's sort of a, a reminder that 3D printing isn't always perfect. Anyway, I hope you liked this video, and if you do decide to create your own sign, I'd love to see. Uh, socials are at 3D Tomorrow on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, 
so you know do share and i'd love to see what you make as always give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and don't forget to subscribe so you see more content like this in the future see you next time cheers